Are we live? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, boys and girls? Uh, my name is Mateusz Delma Dejmanski. The Nelma is my nickname, actually. But I'm very pleased to be here live on the Result Pomade fa in Facebook right now. And quick, long story short, just like um, I'm a SC ambassador right now for Result Pomade for over two years. And quite funny is uh, actually the shop that you are in right now. We opened on the same day that green and red came up to the world. And I'm very sorry for my language because English my, is my second language right now. So I will try to do my best. And if you cannot understand me, like you can always ask me on the, on the comment section, what does it have in mind and, you know, extra. So, uh, as you already saw on the last videos that my colleagues and my fellow ambassadors show, and Rob as well, was long layers, um, pompadours with the, with the fenders and everything. So I figured out that all the quarantine thing, the corona thing right now, it's going to be over one day. And I want to tell you a story. And sometimes I even think the barbers can like predict the future. Because everybody is sitting in a house right now. They have like a good time, you know, with the girlfriend, have a couple of glasses of wine and everything. So what has actually happened later is like the guy asked to the girlfriend, like, can you cut my hair? And she's like, yeah, sure. So this is Jack Dixon, a cousin of Dick Johnson, actually, our in Polish is Jacek Dzikson, and Dzikson actually means son of the boar. And he asked his girlfriend to get a haircut. And he's gonna come into the shop after everything is in. And he just gonna say like, yeah, yeah, my girlfriend did my hair, so it's all right, gonna do it anyway. And we're gonna see that, which is actually almost every home haircut that we can see. So, the question is, what we can do with that? Because this is going to be the, the thing that we're going to need to know to help this poor guy, how to help him. So the first thing we're going to do, and I actually have some blue toning in, in there as well to keep the moisturize more in the hair. So we're going to see what we can do with hair like, like that. And the other thing is like, if the guy is into picky blinders, you can leave it like that. Like, I don't mind. But in Rosal, we try to do like as many old school haircuts as we can. So there's the thing with the Rosal that every haircut that you can see on these posters, like cameraman, show the posters. Doesn't matter, all the posters, like uh, Rosal posters. So, yeah, come back to me. Uh, wherever haircut you can see on the, on the posters, it's basically a flat top. What I'm talking about that, because when we want to help this guy, the best thing for us, for now, will be give him a flat top. Because every base of the haircut is a flat top, so the easiest one is going to give him a flat top, and he can decide. He can grow it. Put it to the back, you have a slick back, you can like style it on the front, you can have, have a pompadour, put a line, put a, um, put a parting. So everything like based on a flat top. So I think this is the best way to help these guys. So what actually we're gonna do first, we're gonna see what we can work with it. So as you can see, here's girlfriend. She get too high, if you know what I mean. So which actually we can do, we're going to flip a little bit the way that we work in Rosal. Because as I, my friends, they've been there like a week ago, two weeks ago, weeks before, they always said something about the baseline, which is like fundamental for what we do in Rosal. So we're going to flip it a little bit, but I'm going to explain you why we're going to do it. And the first thing is like, when we're doing 
the way that we do in the Russell, you need to turn your body to a tool. So if we're always looking for a square haircut, it's like men's haircut, we need to be as steady as we can. So I'm st standing straight next to my head, and his head is actually next to my chest. And have you, have you called this bone? It's like bridge, whatever. Yeah, it's always show me the section that I will cut. So when we're doing every baseline, we always want to do 90 angle, angle degrees on the parallel ridge. It's like, it's really hard to word for in English, like parallel ridge. But what I actually do, instead of going like that, I'm still gonna be on the 90 angle degrees, but I'm gonna make it longer. Why are you gonna see it after I'm gonna blow dry it? And we always doing in the result in very similar way. So we always try to do like a baseline, cut the top of that. And it's actually like a tattoo artist. When you doing like a custom tattoo, you always come in with the with the red marker, just put like a skull or whatever on your on your hand, and you're like, yeah, that's nice. Then he goes with the black marker, he put the lines in there, and you can actually see the tattoo how it's gonna come. And later on, you get the tattoo machine and like put it to your skin. So we're gonna do exactly the same thing, but the red marker is already here. So we're gonna blow dry it first to see what we can do and how it's gonna be later. I don't know if, if you're gonna can hear me after when I'm gonna blow dry it, but we're gonna, I'm gonna say what I'm gonna do. So first of all, I'm gonna use the fiber gel because the um, grooming tonic or the spray tonic will be not, not strong enough to get all the hair standing. Maybe even we're gonna um, cut it a little bit more. We'll see. But because the mannequins, we cannot use it too much. But I always said to my clients and to my and to the people in the classes, like it's always better to put like a like a piece size thing on the hand, spread it across your your palms, and just put it through from the roots to the end of the head. Oh, she did a great job. And because it's not like uh, we already cut the baseline and everything, we're not going to style it to the shape that we want to see. It's more like about getting all the hair standing up. So I'm going to use the Denmon brush, but this one, not the vent brush. So I'm going to go like a... Uh, uh, full speed, the medium heat. And I'm gonna start from the back. Just pull the hair straight, not try to manipulate them, like modeling stuff, just to put it straight. From the root.
of course, if you will do it on the normal person, uh, you can, you need to go with the natural flow of the hair. But right now I don't have any kind of ki colleagues or whatever. So it's just putting the hair straight, nothing more. There is like a thing in the hairdresser industry and the barbers when you blow drying on one side and you come over to the other side and you always flip that. I don't know why, but everybody does it. So we actually have a uh, new kids on the block 90s inspire hair right now. So we can put the bricks on the on the side, but we're gonna do further. So yeah, and as I told you at the beginning about the baseline that everybody doing that way. So we're gonna do actually the same thing, but we're gonna put the comb like that. Oh, sorry. What we're gonna do right now is just taking care of the bulk. Nothing else. And I will show you a little tip if you are not familiar with the flat top or you are scared with the flat top to see how to do it in the bag, because not everybody wants to do like a military style kind of flat top. Or in Poland, we have like a celebrity detective. We actually kind of have a heart, have a flat top, but it's actually more like a bird nest. So, so exactly the same thing on the other side. And the other thing is like, we always start in this area, when the head, when the ear is attached to the head, because wherever we're gonna do in the front or in the back, but we're gonna still have the 90 angle degrees here, it's gonna look like a square haircut of every angle. So we need to pay attention about that. You can always leave it a little bit more and go back later on that. So don't worry. As you can see, I'm going a little bit of the angle just to get everything right and blend a little bit the fantastic fading work of the girlfriend. easy <laughs> so the little trick i can show you because everybody struggle a little bit with the back of the head in the flat top because what we want to do is like get the round of the head 
and make it like that. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. So we always struggle with that because everybody wants to leave this part to make a nice shape when, it's, when the hair is longer. But what you can actually do, it's pop up the guard number two in US or six millimeters in Europe. And what it actually gives us, we can go here with the round of the head And the reason of that is when we're using the flat top comb, the tip of the flat top combs here is actually guard number two or six millimeters. So it's great to know your tools and know how to use it. So uh, actually the first um, tool that we need in the flat top is a mirror. But right now in case of the video, I will show you like without the mirror so what we're gonna do right now i'm gonna blow dry it a little bit And I will take my flat comb, comb to the back and I'm gonna look for the number two here. Because what's actually gonna happen when I'm here and I'm gonna cut the hair, I'm just taking the bug right now. So I don't care so much about everything. But what you can see here is actually blending really nice and you give, give the angle of the comb that you can go. So if, if you got to put the flat top comb like that, you're never going to go too short here. Or if you want to do it like, a, uh, I don't remember the words, the, the, shoe, uh, the shoes of the horse, uh, you're never going to go too short here. So. I will go a little bit shorter. Just to see what I already taken to see when the shape is. And because of the place on the prior ridge, I already showed you if it's going to be square here, I can always angle a little bit these corners. So the next thing, when you're doing the baseline, is like when you're doing the top, you actually pull out all the hair here and just cut it. And we actually can do it as well, because look at it. This is the main connection that we're gonna do uh, over direction. So if you're gonna pull the hair like that with the comb, you can actually see but if I'm going to cut that, it's going to blend it together. Uh, 
and it will be actually easier for you to see the shape later if you do it like that. Can you see that? Because when I take it like that, I cut it, and it pops right, it's already the shape here. So I will do the same, exactly, exactly the same on the other side. So I will pull the head, I see my connection, and over direction here. And I can actually see what I need to take from that. The thing with the flat top is like, sometimes you can feel like a gardener when you're doing the, all the bushes. And you cannot actually see the fade on the mannequin. So I will not bother with that. So sorry, and I saw the, the comments already. And I'm actually gonna make sure is like double check this part. If it's still square. Yeah, you got, you got it. <laughs> if anybody ever saw Lee doing a flat dogs, he he probably will be doing like a third one right now no so nobody can do it like that so i will try next time uh on the human being when we're doing a flat top and you're doing like a like a skin fade or um it's like a ball here the thing with the fade is like it looks better and it looks more like aggressive more like a kind of psychobilly kind of stuff when you're doing like the fade like that because you can leave it's like in the crop you get the framing of the haircut here and it looks much more better so and i'm gonna cut it a little bit here Still maintain the squareness on the side. I didn't know I know so many English words for the hair cutting. So I'm quite impressed for myself. What I'm actually doing right now is like I'm getting through the haircut just with the with the comb to see what else I need to do. Because with the flatter comb, I just get rid of the ball. I like this free hand as well. And the very important thing when you're cutting a flat top on a human being is like, he needs to st stay like still. So sometimes when I see the haircuts on the kids, it's like, it's impossible. It's like how many cartoons you need to watch you know, to do this. Any question for me? Okay, no question. All right. So what are we gonna do right now? Because we already have the shape. We need to do it like all the best that we can. So I'm actually gonna use matte staining paste. And it's actually one of my favorite and it works like amazing for the wet hair, amazing for the blow drying and everything. But actually on the flat top, I figured it out is like sometimes when you cut the flat top, it looks amazing. But when you put like really heavy product, it doesn't look so good any and anymore. So I'm actually gonna use this one, put it to the hair, make it straight. I'm gonna see all the hair 
they're gonna stick up. I'm gonna cut it with my blending scissors, blending shears, and we'll see what's gonna happen next. And it's almost the same amount like the like the fiber gel. All right, so the next thing is like almost everybody on this on this live situation, they have the white tooth comb, but they have like a small one. And I'm like with the cars, the bigger the new car is like, you know, the drill. So it's actually what I did first, like put in the product as much as I can, because if you're gonna put it like that, the hair won't stick up because when you put the product on the hair and stand it like that, they're gonna collapse. If you're gonna, I don't know, I don't know how it, how you call it this kind of thing, but it actually helps a lot because they're gonna tangle the hair and they're gonna be a like a support for each other. So what I'm doing next is just going with the with the Afro comb. Put everything to the uh, to the top, and I'm gonna actually see all the hairs that put out. That I even rip off of the head <laughs> right now. So I will go with my blending scissors, and the reason why, if you are a hairdresser or you are a barber and you be in a beauty school or you know how to cut the fringe on the woman's hair they never going to be even because if it's going to be even it's going to look like a, one of the youtube ch channels you know the girls like pfft. it's always need to have a little bit difference in the length so it actually looks like it's like it's much more straight so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna cut everything that i see on the side that I don't like, just to blend it together. It's not too much, just the tips. It really helps when you have like a white wall on the side or uh, somebody in the white smoke and you can see exactly all the hair that pull out. So the easier sometimes it's a little bit different when you work in a shop and you don't have the right background for your haircut. That's why actually the barbers back in the days have the white smokes because you can always see when you stand it um, and you have like a client in front of you that you can actually see because of the white smoke how is the shape of the haircut and the other thing that you want to do is like ask your client to put the hair a little bit down and you can actually see from here if it's flat enough you, if you're even on the on the left and right side and there's like a, a thing with the flat top that sometimes a lot of people want to like to do it a little bit round 
So it's actually a little bit of hole here. It's more like an old school kind of stuff that you put the fenders up and they always gonna look good because the hair gonna regrow it faster here. Um, the brush is actually Denman. This one is like quite kind of old school because it's made for Schoren. And the flat top comb, I think is the, the, the one that is like the most classical, the Brian drum, I think. <laughs> Brian drum, yeah, this one. But it's always up to the preference because the uh, hair, is, um, hair is like uh, dark. So it's always better to use like a light light comb, but when you actually have like a light hair, it's better to have like a black flat top that you can actually pull out everything and see everything. And the funny thing is like flat top in Poland, it's called square hedgehog. And it was back in the days the most expensive haircut because it's quite difficult that you need to pull out the the classic shape and um, it takes a lot of time for the people who starting with that after some time you can get better and better on that but it was actually one of the most expensive haircut back in the days in poland but i think us have a more more like a variation of, of the flat top. You have like the military one, uh, the horseshoe uh, flat top. This is like, I think like mix of everything, more like a kind of psychobilly flat top, so. I will apply a little bit more on the front because I leave it till to the end. Because the main, main thing with the, with the front of the flat top, it need to be long enough to make the square shape. If you're looking at somebody like me, you need to see the square shape. So I'm, I will put a little bit of the, of the styling space as well. Just like that. The really old school barber is always doing with the hairspray and the comb, or you can put the hairspray next to the hair dryer and it will be like stick him up and just Leave it like that. I don't like it hairspray, so it's easier for me just do it like that. And again, I pick. And what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna put my hand here from the roots and I'm going to make the stand of the hair and actually see if you can come here. You can actually see it's a little bit too long to the rest of it. So I can just blend it right now. Very light touch, just Like that. And what I'm actually going to do right now, 
I'm going to look up for the surf tonic first. And because it's much more light than a grooming tonic, I would just put it on the front. Oh, we are run out of that. And I'm going to take my comb and just blow dry the front. And I'm very sorry to all my vegan friends, but this is the boar bristle. Uh, how do you call it? Brush. And it actually really helps to get smooth finish. And it gets all the hair. They're going to pull up. If it's anything else that I need to cut it and hide from me. I will see it like now. So what you can actually see, there's like a little bit of amount of the hair that I need to cut it. <laughs> but what you can actually see is the flat top. So when you're gonna cut Mr. John Dixon or Yatsa Jixon, uh, when he's gonna come back after quarantine, this is the way to go. Because if you're gonna not cut it or do it just the sides for the next six months, you're gonna have like beautiful pompadour. If you're gonna put the, the parting in there, you're gonna have like a scumbag boogie for right now. So wherever he's gonna came up or his girlfriend on the quarantine, you can always go with that and help a little bit. And for the finish, I would just use a little bit more of the matte styling paste, and that's it. I don't like to put the grease on the flat tops, so that's the way how I work and how we work in Russell. Any question there? Or Mr. Curtis, do you want to add something for me? Hi, Doma. Sorry? Hello, Doma. Hello, man. Any questions in the comments today, people? Everybody are scared I'm from Poland. So we actually have a cars. We don't drive the polar bears on the streets. So Yeah, so actually that's it. If I'm gonna talk about the haircut, I know the, the next next combustor that will be on is actually a guy that I met, Mr. Fury, Nick Nicholas Gurger or something. <laughs> but he's a really nice guy. And oh yeah, actually when you're doing like uh like when you want to check, you can always put like white towel on the side to see how it is. Yeah, close enough. <laughs> so I don't think we have any questions. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, so I hope I will, everybody... Uh... 
yeah. Let them know who's coming up next. Yeah, I already told that Nikar's Fury. So I don't know what he's gonna do, but I know he's gonna pull up very well. So I hope my brother will be fine. This one. And I hope everybody have a good time and everybody staying safe at home. We are actually just two of us and we are really close friends. And this is actually my business partner the holding camera. And see you guys anywhere, maybe in the States, maybe in Europe, when everything is going to end. So see you later. <laughs>